In this video, we're going to demonstrate how Makerplot can be used to visualize a standard set point control example. We're using an Arduino Uno shield with a 10K pot, two push button switches, and an LED connected to it. Now notice how these components are connected with the center of the 10K pot connected to analog input pin A0 and the left terminal of the pod connected to 5 volts and the right terminal connected to ground. This will give us an increasing voltage output as we turn the pod control in a clockwise direction. Now also notice that SW1 is connected to pin 2 and SW2 is connected to pin 3. The set point voltage value is increased when you push SW1 and decrease when you push SW2. And finally, uh, there's an LED connected to pin 9. When the potentiometer voltage is below the set point, the LED is off and goes on when the set point is exceeded. So we'll see all of this when we connect up to Makerplot. But before we do, let's take a look at the code for all of this. First, let's look at the constants. As we see here, we begin with uh, analog in pin equal to A0. This is our analog input pin reference to the potentiometer that's attached to it. Then we have uh, pins for LEDs, for the LED rather, and one for SW1 and one for SW2. So LED pin is connected to pin 9, SW1 pin is connected to pin 2, this raises the set point, and SW2 pin is connected to pin 3, which in turn decreases the set point. Uh, our integer values for sensor value, and that's the value read from the pot, we're going to initialize our set point to 100, and also we're going to initialize our push button switches to 0 for both of them, and also our LED state to 0, which will basically extinguish the LED. Then we can get down to the setup code. Here we're going to configure the hardware so that the SW1 pin and SW2 pin are connected internally to pull-up resistors. And the LED is then set to an output. And finally, we're going to initialize our baud rate to 9600 baud. So going down to uh, the loop, we notice that the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, read the analog output of the pot into our sensor value. Then we're going to check our sensor value against our set point. We're going to set the LED state to a 1 if it exceeds the set point, and we're going to keep the LED state at a 0 if it's at or below the set point. Then finally, we're going to do a digital write to the LED itself to basically illuminate or extinguish the LED. Then we're going to check the states of the push button switches to see if they're pressed. And if they're pressed, then we're going to increase the set point. And if it's, that is, if SW1 is pressed, we're going to increase the set point. If SW2 is pressed, then we're going to decrease the set point. And finally, we're going to send it all to Makerplot, and we're going to do that with our serial print. And that is, we're going to start by sending our sensor value, which is the first analog value, and then we're going to delimit that with a comma. Then we're going to set or send rather the set point value, which is going to be on analog channel 1. Following that, we're going to send our digital values for our switch states and LEDs. And we start by sending a binary indicator for our digital value. And then that's followed by the switch state for SW1, which is the increase state, and the switch state for SW2, which is the decrease state. And then finally, the switch state for the LED itself. And notice on the LED, we are not doing a print, we're doing a print line, which then ends our sensor values with a carriage return. And then finally, we're going to wait 100 milliseconds and then just repeat the loop over and over again. So now that we know what our hardware and software is all about, let's connect our Uno to Makerplot and see what happens.
Okay, for the set point example, we're going to use the digital interface as it has all the visual controls we need to demonstrate how things operate. And I've taken the liberty to load it, and it looks like our Uno is on COM9, uh, and it's all connected. So we're actually plotting data coming out of our um, Uno shield. And as you can see, we're plotting two types of data. We're plotting uh, digital data at the top and analog data at the bottom. The digital data at the top is in the form of the two switch states and also the set point or trip point at the top when our pot uh, voltage exceeds a set point value. Then there are the two analog voltage channels we'll be monitoring. Channel 0 is the pot voltage and channel 1 is the set point voltage. Channel 0 is the black plot and channel 1 is the red plot. Both of these values are straight out of the UNO's 10-bit A to D converter, so their values will go from 0 to 1023. And in this case, we won't convert them to a 0 to 5 volt range. For that, uh, take a look at our other learned video that scales the A to D voltages out of the A to D converter. But for this example, we'll get a good idea of what the pot value and set point values are by looking at the horizontal LED bar graphs over here. Their range, as you can see here, the maximum range uh, goes to 1,000. So that means each LED bar in our bar graph is worth 100. Now, they say analog 0 and analog 1 on our bar graphs. And that's fine, but we can change that as well. So I'm going to show you something that's a little ahead of the game here, which normally comes in our Maker video series. But I'm going to put my cursor over the analog zero label. I'm depressing the shift key, and I'm also right-clicking it. Now what that does, it brings up our object editor. And in our object editor, we can change the label value from analog zero to something a little bit more appropriate. So let's change this to pot voltage. Rather, since it's not really a voltage, let's just change it to pot value. Push the Enter key, and now we see that our LED bar graph is now pot value. OK, let's drop our object editor. Come down here to Analog 1 and change it as well. Again, pushing the Shift key, right-clicking the Analog 1, Clicking the area here where it says analog one, and let's change that to set point. Set point value. All right. Now we have our pot value and set point value in our LED bar graphs all set up. And that's a lot more descriptive than analog zero and analog one. But nevertheless, that's how you can do it with MakerPlot can change anything on the interface screen just about. And to further that example, let's go up here to the digital data, which is now labeled bit 0 through bit 7, and change those values to something a bit more appropriate. Now we know that bit 0 is really the set point. It's either exceeded or not exceeded. So let's change bit 0 to set point. Coming down here, let's change this to a decrease, which we know is the decrease value. And let's change bit 2 to increase. All right, so this takes care of our set point, our switches for decreasing and increasing the set point. And then for the other values here, let's just get rid of them, because I really don't have any meaning in this example. So we'll just Click on them, highlight them, and hit the delete key. All right, now to affect all these changes, let's come down here to the Update Traces button and click on it. And now we notice that we have set point, decrease, and increase labels on the upper left-hand side here of our plot area so that we know exactly what we're really doing. Okay, I think it's about time to get going with our example now that we've set up our screen. So I'm going to bring over my UNO shield and I'm going to begin to adjust the potentiometer 
As you can see, it's moving back and forth, up and down. It's above the set point value right now. The set point value is about 100. But notice a couple of things before we cross over the set point, and that is look at the pot value LED bar graph. It's following the analog line very, very effectively. And we notice that our digital value, values has, haven't changed yet because I haven't exceeded, or rather I haven't gone below the set point, but now let's go below the set point. Boom. Our set point value goes from 1 to 0. Our set point LED then extinguishes. Let's go above the set point. And now our set point comes back up again. Our set point LED illuminates. And we can do this as we move above and below the set point value as it stands right now. Now to adjust the set point value, which is the red plot, let's push the switch that's connected to pin 2, SW1. And as we see, as we keep our switch pushed, the set point value begins to increase and also the digital indication goes from a 1 to a 0, meaning that in kind of negative logic we have our switch pushed. And as we see, as we crossed the line, our set point went from a 1 to a 0, meaning now that our set point value is above our potentiometer value. So again, we can move the pot in the direction. We can cross a set point up and down, take it clear up very high, take it back down again. So this is a real neat indication of how we can adjust the set points. Let's do a few more things with them. I'm going to now just increase and decrease the set point by pushing the two push button switches and uh, I want you to kind of concentrate on the digital values as well as uh, the analog stuff. I'm going to leave the analog stuff alone, or at least the pot value alone right now, and uh, just increase and decrease the set points. All right, I'm going to increase it now. Now notice that the increase digital line went to zero. I'm going to decrease it now, and the decrease digital line went to zero. This is negative logic, of course, meaning when you push the button, it goes from a 5 volt value to a 0 value, so that is why we're seeing these. And we can move up and down as we so choose. And our LED indicators on our digital interface reflect the depression of our, of our push button switches. So we can then again do this. I'm doing this for a reason. If we want to now save what we've done, let's come down here and click our snapshot. Let's view our snapshot. And there we have a record of our little experiment for the last uh, 60 seconds or so. So these are some of the things we can do with MakerPlot to visualize how a set point example can be demonstrated.